Hey, what's up, everyone? It's day 88 of 90, The Vulnerable Adventure with Alex Eccles, as always. And um, I'm going to go ahead and answer one of the questions from the DTR questions to consider list. And that's like, what is one of my biggest dreams? And I, I know I've talked about the sushi restaurant and, you know, the winery and all that before, but maybe I should rephrase this question more so into what's my purpose, you know? And the two go in hand in hand for me. My purpose and, you know, what is one of my biggest dreams in life, that equals one life. And many of you guys know that I've been dealing and working on this brand for many years now. And what I initially, I guess, wanted as products have not reached the sort of fruition that many customers would like. But so many other manifestations have happened. You know, I had the, my website for a long time, or I think it was four or five years, and I garnered thousands and thousands and thousands of hits. And that was the spark for me, and that was the spark for One Life. And then from there, I moved on to, like, you know, creating sample T-shirts and hats and everything, and, you know, creating a buzz that definitely proved the concept and proved that many people were interested in, in the design and, and just the brand and what it represents itself. Um, but never reached sort of any fruition. And then along the way, I continued my writing and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And honestly, I thought one life was going to die at once. You know, just this big idea, this big dream of mine. I thought it was getting closer and closer to its, its demise until something really important that started setting in and that's the importance of focus, scaling back, focusing on your focus and when I was able to mind map and draw it out a few months ago, everything became much more apparent and easier to understand my strategic rollout that I wanted to do and there's still a lot of strategy left to be done but you know, like I've said multiple times, one of the big parts of my brand now is the website, One Life Momentum. You know, it's the community of inspired writers and shared ideas. That's a big, big part of it, but there's so many other parts. And when I mean so many, it's relative. There are a few other parts, if we talk in numbers, of the brand that I would like to once a, once one day reach fruition, and it will. As long as I, you know, keep working on my stuff and working diligently and connecting um, and creating, which is a big, big part of it. Um, so, yeah, my life is one life. And every day that I go through a new experience, I realize just how much more value is added to it. And I just realized something. By me talking low, it seems like I'm not excited right now, but... I am very fucking excited about this brand and, you know, it, I think a lot of the work that comes down to entrepreneurs and businesses is saying, fuck it, just do it, you know, um, and also fish, if it, nothing, if it doesn't go your way, fuck it, shit happens, um, but yeah, One Life, what is that to me, it's a, it's a brand, it's a lifestyle that represents just that. I don't care if you believe in reincarnation, if you don't believe in religion or any sort of dogma at all. What are you going to do with this one life that you have right now? You sure some people are, you know, are, are not exactly in the point that they want to be at, and some people are. But I guarantee that everybody is wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing, you had a wish one day that they could be just one step further ahead in life. And a lot of that comes down to work in addition to connecting with people, your network and all that. But there's so many people that wish they had, they could be in the position where we're at right now. And there is no guilt trip. There is nothing like that that I want to propose, but... It all comes down to one life. What are you going to decide for yourself? What am I going to decide for myself?
this 90 day challenge is almost up and what am I going to do after? And then I realized that there's some other things that I could do. I can't wait to get back and read more business books and get my mind, you know, more business oriented once again from a strategic slash theoretical standpoint. Um, and I'm doing a lot of rambling right now, but my purpose is one life. And I will die sharing a message that says you deserve everything you want in life as long as it's a positive thing. I will die sharing a message saying you should take advantage of this life that you have, this moment that you have, this second that you have. And I'll die sharing a message saying that it's really all up to you. So it's your decision. You decide, friends. You decide. If you thought I was kidding. Alright guys, I think this beard is going. Peace out.